A lot of people have asked me how I've been able to land different partnerships with companies like Session Wire, Cali Audio, Vanilla Groove Studios, and more for my podcast and for my personal producer brand. And for me, the approach is pretty simple. If I'm the one reaching out, it usually just starts with me identifying how that brand can benefit my audience, whether it's my podcast listeners, people that follow me on Instagram or YouTube or any other type of social media, you know, what can they get from it? And then also I got to make sure that the brand is going to get something out of it as well. So if I feel that's good, you know, I usually craft up a well-rounded email, nothing too long, just something nice, short and sweet where I introduce myself and I let them know, you know, what my initial ideas would be. Now, obviously not every single company that I've reached out to has ever gotten back with me, but let's say they do email back. It's usually from a representative of the company, someone that works in the marketing department, usually or the social media department, things like that. And they'll give me a list of ideas based on what I gave them. And they'll also let me know about the different types of partnerships they've done in the past. And if I'd be interested in anything like that as well. Like I said earlier, I always look for, you know, what can I get out of it and my audience and what can the brand get out of it? So if I feel that we both are bringing good ideas to the table, I like to try and find a middle ground. So from there, it's pretty much just a little bit of negotiating, usually doesn't last for more than a day or two. And then if we do strike a deal, you know, we just figure out what that common ground is and go from there. I think overall, what's really helped me be able to do this more consistently over the years is just the initial approach as far as being professional, being able to be easy to work with and get in touch with things like that, things that are very simple and that you just got to keep in mind. I think it's the same as when you're trying to work with other artists or maybe other producers in music. It's the same in business. You want to work with someone who is good to work with but you need to be good to work with as well and they need to feel like they can trust you with their brand and their vision and be able to be an advocate for what they do and be somebody that's going to help them out a lot and in turn you know you're going to build these relationships and they're going to pay off for years to come it's going to be super fulfilling to add that to your arsenal so i'd say my biggest advice for someone looking to do brand partnerships especially as a musician or as a podcaster either one just be yourself overall. That's the message I'm always trying to get out to people. Just be yourself, find unique ways to help these brands out. If you can solve a problem for them, you become very valuable to them as well. So always keep that in mind. But the biggest thing is just be yourself, be professional. And most of the time this stuff is gonna work out if you find the right person to connect with.